and hopefully the screencast is capturing this. Uh, technical difficulties, but this needs to get out to you guys. So um, I've tried to do this like eight times now. Let's say that that angle is 37 degrees. In this angle, its measure is x. We don't know it. I'm hoping that all of you could solve for x, understanding that the sum of the three angles within a triangle is 180 degrees. Okay? Back to geometry. Now, in addition to that information, I'm going to tell you that I don't know the length of that leg, and I do not know the length of the hypotenuse, but I do know the length of this leg, and that's 15. 15 units, whatever it would be. Now, if my directions to you were to solve this triangle, I'm asking you to tell me the value for all six of the pieces, the lengths of the three sides, the measures of the three angles. Well, you know this one because it's 37, you know this one because it's 90, and you know this side because it's like this 15. So really, we're looking for the other three. How do we do that? Well, there's a whole slew of ways, and at the end of the unit, we'll have more tools than you have now. Right now, you have the idea of this thing from geometry called triangle sum, or the fact that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So we can use that to find x, the measure of this angle here at the bottom, this one right here. You also have Pythagorean theorem. And we would use that exclusively to find lengths of sides. What I need is, if given two sides, I can find the third. That is what Pythagorean theorem is about. If you give me the lengths of two of the sides, I can find the third. In this particular problem, I'm missing A, I'm missing B, I'm given one side. So as of right now, this does not help us. And then you have the trigonometric functions, or ratios. They are sine, cosine, and tangent. And those are basically all come as three parts. So look at sine as itself. Sine of some angle is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the hypotenuse. There are, there are three parts here. The length of the opposite side, the measure of the angle, and the length of the hypotenuse. If I have two, any two of those three parts, I can use this thing to find the third. And it's the same for cosine, and it's the same for tangent. So how do we use all this information? Well, when given this pile of information here, I'm going to first take care of this, and I'm going to find this missing angle. That's just what I'm choosing. That doesn't mean it's what you should always do. So if I have 37 degrees, and I'm going to add x degrees, plus I'm going to add 90 degrees, the sum of those three angles, since they're inside the triangle there, they're the interior angles, that sum must be 180 degrees. If I subtract 90 from both sides, I'm going to get 37 degrees plus x equals 90. And if I subtract 37 degrees from both sides, I'm going to get x equals 53 degrees. Okay? So now I know that this angle is 53 degrees. Now, that being done, I'm going to shift now and determine. I still can't use Pythagorean theorem because I only have the length of one side. So I'm going to investigate using one of the trigon trigonometric functions. I have 37 and I have 53. Okay? I'm going to stick with 37. There's no necessary reason. Uh, in the back of my head, I'm thinking if I made a mistake with 53 in calculating 53, an addition error or subtraction error or something, I will keep myself out of trouble for a couple more answers if I use what was given. I just need to know how to use it correctly. Now, 37 degrees. That's going to be the theta. And it's going to be the theta in whether it's sine, cosine, or tangent. Now, oops. Now remember, sine is the, the length of the opposite side over the hypotenuse. The cosine is equal to the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And tangent is the length of the opposite side over the adjacent side. Which side am I given with respect to the 37 degree angle? I'm hoping that you're saying that 15 is, op excuse me, 15 is adjacent next to the 37 degree angle. 
That means I have this information with regard to the cosine, and I have this information with regard to the tangent. I also have theta, 37. I have this, I have this, I have this. I already, we already said that we had that one. We already said that we had that one. Now remember what I had said. You need two of these three pieces in order to find the third. How many pieces do I have with regard to sine? I have theta. I do not have opposite. I do not have hypotenuse. So it is not usable in this particular situation, not right now. I can choose either cosine or tangent. I have the angle, I have the adjacent side. If I'm looking for the hypotenuse, B, I would choose cosine. If I'm looking for the opposite side, I would choose A, excuse me, if I'm looking for the opposite side, A, I'm going to choose tangent. So it doesn't matter which one you try first. Let's go for tangent in order to find the length of the opposite side. So, the tangent of 37 degrees is equal, to, is equal to the length of the opposite side divided by the length of the adjacent side. So, you can combine these two steps. I'm just taking my time here, even though I'm in a rush. 37 degrees, I do not know the length of the opposite side, but it, in fact, is A. So I'm going to put A there. And the length of the adjacent side is that 15. Now, just a little bit of an algebra, algebra problem now. I want to get A by itself. In other words, I want to solve for A. How do I solve for A? Don't I multiply both sides by 15? That means I have to multiply this side times 15. What I end up getting is, on the right-hand side, I'll have A, and it's going to be equal to 15 times the tangent of 37 degrees. Now, you're going to enter this into your calculator. You can do it a couple different ways. You can either enter tangent 37, and hit enter, or 15 times tangent 37, and hit enter. There's one thing that has to happen before you do this, and this year, unlike previous years, you're going to be going back and forth. So you're going to have to check the status of your calculator pretty much before you do each problem or before we do each test or each section or something to that effect. Your calculator must be in degrees mode at this point in time because our measure currently is in degrees. There's this thing called radians that I've talked about, but we have done no work with it yet. That's another unit of measure for angles. Your calculator must be in degrees mode, degree mode. Okay. To change your calculator to degree mode, you need to hit the mode button, which is just to the right of the second button. The third line down, the thing that should be highlighted for this particular problem is degree. So if your cursor, um, if your degree should be highlighted or darkened. If radian is darkened, you want to pull your cursor over on top of degree and hit enter. All right. Now, um, that's one example. We're not finished yet. So we haven't finished, we haven't figured out how to calculate or how to find B. Um, I'm running out of time, guys, so I'm going to have to shift and I, I'm going to put this up and then hopefully uh, tomorrow afternoon I'll get some more made. Um, B, how could we go about and find, finding B once we got the answer to this, which was. Um, I got A to equal 11.3, 11 11.3. So now that 11 is, excuse me, now that A is 11.3, how could we get a value for B? Well, you can do the same thing and use cosine instead in conjunction with, um, in conjunction with the adjacent side, the, the angle, and find the hypotenuse. Or you can choose to use Pythagorean theorem because now you have the length of both legs and you can use Pythagorean theorem now to find the length of the hypotenuse. Uh, again, apologies. I'll post this up hopefully tonight before I go to bed and get the rest to you as soon as possible.